good morning, welcome to Vlog 8. We're down at Craig's local pond. Um, I'm not going to say the name because it's a bit of a local secret, a little local gem here. Um, so I'm not going to say the name of the place. But it's in Suffolk, it's in Ipswich. Got down here before the light hit this morning, had a little walk around. Um, Craig's been doing a bit of baiting through the week, so we've chose to fish in the swims that he has been baiting. He's just popped off to work, he'll be back at about 5 o'clock later on. So I'll be down here, we're getting set up. Um, we ain't put no bait out yet. I don't need to get the marker out because we've got another local here and um, he's going to put us on the spots straight away. So no commotion, literally just get the rods out. We're going to use the bait boat this time. Get the rods out on the spots, nice little patch of bait, nice and tight. And hopefully we can break this blank and nick our first fish. The rigs I'm using, I'm going to put a chod out on one. Um, similar chod to what I normally use, but it's running instead of on lead core, we're on the fluoro leaders. Second rod is going to go on an 18mm tip with a bit of glad of dark coal. That's down to a size 6 curved shank, a little rig ring and a kicker. And um, that's from deception angling, a little bit of putty halfway up the end trap, and a towel kicker on the end just to kick it out. So I say that's going to be the middle rod. Um, we'll run you through the spots as we're putting the rods out. Right hand rod. Similar rig end trap again, 18mm with a little 12mm topped. Uh, size 6 curve shank again from Deception, rig ring and a kicker, bit of putty. This rig's a little bit longer than the other one. Um, but as I say, yeah, pretty similar rigs to what I normally use. So I'm going to put them out in the bait boat now, get them on the spots, and I shall catch up with you in a bit. Right, just to talk you through where we put the rods. The left rod, we've drove the boat out. There's like a little V halfway across the island. So we've just stuck the bait to the back of the V halfway across the reeds. Um, that's the money spot like we've been advised. Um, the middle and the right rod, we've gone to the end of the reed line, um, just at the back of a like a bed of mussels that come up in the summer. So we've drove the boat out there on the middle and the right, and that's gone just past that the other side. One in about four or five foot of water, one in about seven, eight. So that's the three spots for the day. Um, like I said, I haven't put no loose feed out. I'm gonna sit on that, just what I put in the boat. Uh, just some crumbed up boilies, some whole boilies to keep a nice tight little patch of bait around the hook bait and um, yeah as I say we're going to sit it out, Craig will turn up at 5 so we'll have a little chat but yeah, time to get the kettle on have a coffee and some chocolate oblongs I think hopefully that sun will come up and warm us up I'll catch up with you in a bit So 
gone up 5.30 on the first night. Craig's just setting up now, it's a bit dark. Um, so we'll catch up with Craig in the morning, let him get his rods out, because it's going to take a while. But we'll catch up with Craig in the morning, run through his rigs. Uh, we've redone the rods, same spots. Um, the only difference is I've took the 18mm tip with a 12mm pink and I've gone to a Ardooker from Urban Baits Nutcracker. That's been glugged for about two weeks so it smells lovely. But um, yeah, the rods are out on the spots for the first night. So, we're rocking on Vlog 8. Craig's about to get his rods out now so we're going to go pop round, give him a hand. Uh, I think even Wes is popping up tomorrow and also he might even make a little guest appearance. But we'll uh, we catch up with the lads in the morning, as I said, have a little chat through their rigs, the way they're approaching it. Um, two local boys, so they know the water, they know how to catch fish out of here, so definitely be worth nicking a bit of knowledge off them. But yeah, as I say, we sit the night out. If we have a fish, you know the deal, cameras come on. Other than that, I'll catch up with you in the morning. Saturday morning, joined by Craig. Cheers for coming, son. Yeah, pleasure, mate. Thanks for coming, mate. Thanks for having us down. Um, yeah, got here a bit late last night, didn't you, mate? Yeah, I had to work, couldn't get the day off. Been uh, quite busy, so got down, rush, what, it? five o'clock? Yeah, in the dark, in the rain. Yeah, I think, like you said earlier, we baited up. Well, I've been putting the bait in for the last couple of weeks after work, mm. just to try and give us a bit of a, you know, a bit of an edge, but it's not really been doing that many fish since you know, like beginning of January, but it's hard out there though, isn't it, at the minute? It's this been cold. First weekend we've had the little pressure drop, haven't we? Down yeah, to a thousand. It's looking good, we had the wind banging our face last night. And like I said, I know a lot of people normally get on the back of the wind in this, you know, this sort of temperature, but last time when I had them fish, I was bang on them westerlies and they were there, so yeah, went with what we went, you know, went with what I've known before and we we saw what two fish yesterday, I think, weren't it? Yeah, yeah, just off the island on the on the back of where I'm fishing. But um, you banged the chods out last night. Yeah, mate. Like I, normally, if I get down on a lake after dark, um, I want to know that I'm fishing effectively. I'll just clip up to the spot I've been baiting on, and I know if I hit the clip or I fall a bit short or I don't get the drop, you know, if I. You know, I'm always fishing. 99% safe, aren't you? With yeah. the chod. I mean, the, the water at the, the the bottom out there anyway is full of. You know, black silkweed, and mm. that's you know, a lot of it has been dying off, and so it is that it does warrant a chod. But I just know I'm always fishing effectively, yeah, yeah. So, you've um, you've had a rethink this morning, then, yeah. I think they're out there, but like, I do think we've got a lot of water in front of us, and like you say, you're fishing a and not you know the island and they do like to get you know you've got a massive reed bay there as well and you know we all love you know carp love the reeds and stuff like that even in winter mm. you've got good depths um we've got a lot of water in front of us and obviously my local knowledge my mate you know reedy's local knowledge that fish do come from here and they you know i think they're out there they're just not they've not turned on yet but i'm gonna reel them in probably midday ish well wait till about 11 o'clock normally is get that white time, time, over time. Then, and yeah. then i think i'm going to put all three on zigs reed is going to put them on zigs as well i think we've got about nine ten foot of water so between you know between the two you can cover between quite a five few. rods we'll work it together a few layers he'll work a few zigs at a depth i'll work the other other layers and we've covered that whole mid range then and you know if once we if we find them we'll put them all on one we'll all get on them and the zigs working here um but last time I had the bites off the bottom, so I've gone with what I've, you know, what you before. Know, mate, so yeah. if we can't get a bite, we'll change it up and see what happens. All right, do you want to um, run us through your zig then? Yes, mate. <coughs> it's just nine pound zig material. This one's a three foot. And then just simply a bit of black and yellow foam. Size 10 talon tip hook. A little bit of shrink, to, well, a little bit of silicon just to keep everything straight. Nice. And that's it mate, simple short, as. Simple. Last, yeah, short, simple. Small bait. That's it mate. Spot Wang on. bits of foam out. Yeah. Um, if all else fails. <clears throat> just a standard chod, obviously everyone knows about the chod. 
size 6 chod hook by Gardner, flex size 12 uh, flexi ring swivel, 20 pound trip wire, done job, you know. It's simple and sweet, and they mate, they work. Nice they're and definitely short. effective. You know, they're, they're, a lot of people say it's fashion and, you know, oh, chods for nods and mm. all that. It's nothing, mate. It's nah. caught a lot of fish. Fishing's fishing, isn't it, at the end of the day, mate? Don't matter how you catch them, as long as you get them on a the bank. But yeah, we'll, um, we'll let these boys crack on with their zig fishing. You know me, I can't, I can't get my head around it at a minute, but I'm, I'm sure I'll pick up a few tips off Craig. But um, yeah, it we'll might not work. Up. It might work. I've known, like when I get in, you know, if I'm in trouble, the zig always can get me out of it. But so I've got no doubt, mate. I mean, I, I know they take a lot of fish. They take a lot of big fish, and they they do trip the fish up, especially when the pressure's through the roof. Um, but as I say, for me, I, I like my bottom fishing pop-ups, bottom fishing wafters with a bit of bait around the hook. I can't I can't get my head around the zigs, but I'll be watching you boys closely today, mate. And if you take one, I'm sure I'll be getting you a timey one up. Yeah, we can run for them later, can't we, if they work. And um... Yeah, mate, yeah. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll crack on then, get the kettle on, have a cup of tea, let these boys do their thing, and we'll, um, we'll have a little catch-up later on then, son. Yeah, nice one. Happy days. Um, it's three o'clock now. I've gave the zigs a good little go this morning from about, I don't know, what's say, half ten. Nothing's happened. Reedy's had, you know, zigs out as well. So I've just introduced a bit more corn and bread into the swim, topped up the spots. I'm putting one a bit longer out now, um, going past the baited spot, a little bit some more to the right, just see if they're out long. I'll put one on a baited spot again. And then the other rod I'll bring in even shorter. So I'll have like one at 10 rod lengths, one at 15, one at 20. Just fan them out across the swim, see if we can pick them up, see where they are basically. We haven't seen anything show today. It's been really bleak. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes tonight. If not, there'll be a big move tomorrow. Right, just to 
run you through Craig's special mix quickly that he's been putting out in the spawn for the weekend. Um, this is the mix you've had most of your fish on through the winter. Yes, mate, yeah. Even into uh, early spring. Yeah, like as soon as the water starts warming up, I'll probably ease off it a little bit more. But as it's so cold, I just wanted to use a mix that was just like real high attract. Mm -hmm. um, you know, lots of colour to it, visual aspect, and not a lot of food content. So oh, okay. they come on the spot. They can, they'll eat it, they can eat it all day and they won't get full up, if you know what I mean. So, right. yeah, every day's mate. Just hope the belts keep coming you just know, in, when it happens. Just, just an attractant, really, then, to fill the layers. Yeah, so all it is is bread mush, a bit of hemp, and corn. Right, um, okay. Normally, I liquidise the corn as well, um, but I've been lazy this, like, this session and just using the corn. But no, there's a method to my madness, and there is a lot, a lot of roach in here. Right. So, I've just wanted to keep the whole grains of corn basically in the mix. just. You know, I don't want it cleared up too quick, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I want enough food content down on the bottom. But it is just real sloppy, clouds up the water. There's all bits in the water column as well. Works good over zigs, you know, so. Just pulls the fish down onto the area. Yeah, right? like, that's what I mean, mate. It's just real high attract. There's bread, cut, love bread. Mm. They love corn and a bit of hemp, so. And that's what you use through the winter? That's why I mix through the winter, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywhere you go, mate. Anywhere I'll go. I had that 31 out of the water park last winter on it. I've had the fish this year on it. Um, fish a little yellow pop up or, or a white pop up over the mix. Yeah, that'd be days, mate. Yeah, you know, it works. It's been working, so. Is that um, just any old regular corn and hemp then? or? This is the Scopex corn from Bait Tech and the chili hemp. Um, real fiery, nice and hot. Mm. I like it. I use it all year through. Um, I've also soaked the bread mush in that sweet coconut liquid and added a bit of the sweet corn like liquid to it as well. Yeah, happy days mate, so a bit of a mix then, a bit of variety. Smells nice. Yeah, get them grabbing about mate, all fowls will be eating it later on. Let's hope it works, we topped it up just now, you know, like I said earlier, top the swims up, um, the spots up just now with it, so yeah, see what crossed. happens. It's looking good tonight mate, it is looking good. I think we'll... Um... Just ain't seen nothing have we? Nah. No, there's nothing to show There's been a lot itself, of anglers but... on. No one's caught anything. We just haven't seen anything. No, that first, that first morning we see that one fish. I really did think that night would do it. But I mean, tonight, got steady pressure. It's been steady like this all day, isn't it? The wind's been pretty calm, really, to speak of. Calmer than yesterday, anyway. Yeah, a lot calmer than yesterday, mate. Yeah, so, um, as I say, I think tonight, well, there's four of us on. So between us, well, you got three, I got three. Old Snipes is round the corner, he's got three, Reedy's on two. But, um, but yeah, we just have to work it, mate. It is February at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Yeah, We're fishing yeah. in winter, geese, so. Had a lid on it the other day, so that thawed out during the week. So it's not easy, mate. I mean, people know that, though, don't they? You know what I mean? It's, it is winter fishing. You'd be lucky you nick a fish on a weekend session. You've got to be in it to win it, son. Exactly, mate. Let's get the Chinese and the beers down. Yeah, happy days. Catch up with you later on then. Good morning. Welcome to Sunday. It was a little cold last night, a bit of a frost on the ground. Had a few liners on the right hand rod, then the left hand rod. About four o'clock. She was beeping away, but she didn't rattle off. Craig and Reedy are going to make the move. They're loading the barrels up. I think they're going around the other side. I don't know what Wes is doing. He might want to jump next door and throw out some, some bags into open water. But um, but yeah, we'll. Uh, I think I'm going to sit tight. As I say, I had them few liners. There was fish showing on the end of that island, so maybe, just maybe. Between now, it's at half eight and, and twelve o'clock, might be out of nick one. But the sun's up already. No wind. We're playing a serious waiting game at the minute. Right, 
Right, coming up the last knockings now on the Sunday lunchtime. Like I said this morning, Craig shot off around the lake with Reedy. They're, um, they're chasing fish around the back of the island. There ain't been no pressure. So they've shot around there to see if they can nick one before we go. Me and Wes have moved up now into the double next door to me. And um, we're just gonna wang a few zigs out. Just see if we can pick something up, mate, last knockings. I wouldn't say it's been a bad trip. Picked up quite a few things off Craig. Um, it's nice as well to come to a new lake. I mean, we've had, we've had the privilege of going to some nice lakes over the, uh, the vlog series. So it'll definitely be one that I'll stick in the back catalogue and if we get a free, a free weekend, bring the boys up here and we'll have, a, have another go at it. But that's fishing at the end of the day. But as I say, it's not all lost. We get these zigs out, we've got about an hour, hour and a half before the bivvies and all that dry out. So bring these out, see if we can pick one up. And then um, if all else fails, we go around there, catch up with Craig, see how he's getting on. And then, uh, yeah, we'll wrap up Vlog 8. Right, well that's the end of Vlog 8. You didn't get them around there mate, nothing nothing around there showing. No nah, mate, I'm struggling to be fair. I well obviously any nothing's showed in front of me has it? Um, no. Got up early this morning and moved. Thought they might be around there, just flicked them out for a few hours. A couple on zigs and one on the bottom where I had them bites in January. But nothing, and when I was over there, literally what, half hour ago, one just topped out in front of where Reedy was fishing. On the spots. On the spot, so we've just moved back. But yeah. You're gonna stay on there, matey. We're gonna make the move now, me and Wes. Um, but as I say, mate, that's fishing. It'd been easy for us to go down the water park. We probably would have took one, but you know what I mean? I've seen the fishing here. And yeah. if anyone was gonna catch a mate, it was gonna be you, but. Struggled, mate. There it goes, if I you do? ain't gonna catch a mate, no one is, you know what I mean? <laughs> But um, as I say, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to shoot. If he does get one, we'll, um, we'll, we'll work the photos in if you can send them over, mate. Yeah, if you mate. do bag one when we're gone. Sorry but, I couldn't um, catch one, but no, mate, never mind. It's fishing, isn't it, at the end of the day? I was surprised how mold it is today. Woke up this morning with ice on the rods and then the sun's out. It's, yeah. it's just all up and down too much. Yeah, no, it is good, mate. It is good. But no, I say, appreciate it, man. Top man, mate. I'll, um, as I say, yeah, I'll be in touch and hopefully we can... Uh, We'll work Hook up soon, mate. Yeah. No so, worries, man. Right. Cheers. I'll catch you on the next one then.